Hey, my name is Brennan Galley, and I'm the new Mark product specialist in Canada. And today I'm going to show you some stuff about the new Mark NS6 Mark II. There's videos that I've shot that show the capacitive touch functionality and also how this section here works. Uh, so check those out. It's all in the same playlist in, in my NS6 Mark II playlist set up here on YouTube. Um, also, you can find more of my content if you go to FierceMuleProductions.com. I post my travel schedule there. I do some performance video, uh, other good stuff as well. So this is the NS6, and you can see up top I have this navigation system. So I can use it to dig into my different bins, and so I can push back here. Um, I can also use the button push to go from one to the other, so it'll either go forward or back depending on what I'm doing. Um, so we can go into here, see all my different bits of content, right? Um, I also have the different views available, so I have a view button here, and you can see how that's going to swap in between the different views inside of Serato. So it's all matched up like that. Um, over here, I can sort by the area, so this is sorting down below, and up top we go. Uh, if I want to sort my content, I have different options down below. So whenever I see something underneath, it means I hold down shift and push the button. So if I'm looking at my content, and I go here, and I'm, I'm uh, sorting by BPM, so I'm sorting by the speed. I can sort by the song title. I can sort by the key, which I like to use a lot. Um, and I can also sort by the artist. So if I'm dealing with big bins, I have those options. So I'll shift and press, and I can look at my different bits of content there. Underneath that, I have my load button. So once I find a song that I like, I can pick either channel 1, 2, 3, or 4. And let's say I wanted to load into 3. I'm going to press load. And so now that content is loaded into three, but deck three is not on right now. This is deck one. So I can push this button here, and now I have deck three. So that's how I load my content onto the different decks. I then have my booth control. So I have an RCA audio output on the back here. And right now I have that feeding into my AV42s down below. And then I have my master audio output, and that's connected uh, to this connection here. So that XLR I have right now feeding upstairs to my Pro Tools rig. That's where all the audio is being recorded. Then on the back as well, I have two USB ports. Um, and that can let me do two computers simultaneously. You also see that I have analog inputs, analog input three and four. And so on both three and four on the top, I have this little switch where I either go for the computer or my line input. So if I want to plug in a CD player, if I want to plug in some a record player, that kind of stuff, this is where I'm going to plug it in. It's a line level input, so if I'm doing a record player, it would already need to be into a receiver. You're not going to get a crazy amount of gain here. So, so send a line level input there. Um, that's how this top section works. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching my other videos as well. Please subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know.